When you're debugging PHP code, it can be helpful to examine the state of your code at a specific point in time. This can help you understand what's happening in your code and identify any issues that may be causing you problems. Let's look at some ways you can examine the state of your PHP code using built-in PHP functions. As discussed in the lesson on the built-in WordPress debugging options, you can use the error log function to log messages to your WordPress debug log file. This can be useful for debugging purposes, as it allows you to see what's happening in your code without displaying it on the screen. The error log function is not specific to WordPress. It's a PHP function that you can use in any PHP code to log messages to the PHP error log file configured on the server. However, once you enable the WordPress specific debugging options in your WP config file, anything past error log will be logged to the WordPress debug log file. This will log the value of some variable to the debug log file. So you can see what it contains at that point in your code. The benefit of using error log is that it allows you to log messages to a file without displaying them on screen. If you display them on screen, especially in a production environment, you risk exposing sensitive information to users. It's also sometimes quicker to be able to see the output in a log file rather than having to search through a long list of output on the screen. Another useful function for examining the state of your PHP code is printr. This function outputs the value of a variable, array, or object in a human-readable format so that you can see what it contains. Take a look at this example PHP code. This code will output the following to the screen. Developers will often wrap printr in pre-re tags to make the output easier to read. This will output the following to the screen. Notice that by default, printr outputs the value of the variable but does not return it. If you want to use the output of printr with error log, you need to set the second parameter of printr to true. This will log the output of the printr function call to the debug log file so you can see what some array contains at that point in your code. The var dump function is another useful function for examining the state of your code. This function outputs the value of a variable, array, or object in a human-readable format, along with additional information about the variable type and length. Take a look at this example PHP code. This code will output the following to the screen. Notice that vardump outputs the value of the variable along with additional information about the variable type and length. This can be useful for debugging purposes as it provides more detailed information about the variable than printr. Unlike printr, vardump does not have an option to return the output to a variable, so you can't use it directly with error log. However, you can use something called output buffering to capture the output of vardump and then log it to a debug log file. Developers will often use this type of code in a special logging function to be able to use both var dump and error log. For more information on the functions mentioned in this lesson, check out the following pages in the PHP documentation. The PHP error log function page, the PHP print R function page, and the var dump function page.